Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry 3. I did a little grinding off screen, mostly just to get shit that I don't want to get on screen. Um... Willis, that you? Oh boy. I zeroed in on your friend Keith Ramsey. A hitman who works for a Hoyt purchased him. He's usually at the bar in the shanty town. What's the guy's name? Buck. So his name is Buck, and he likes to. I wonder why they pull that F, you know? Like, this game drops so many swear words in the first, like, two minutes that, like... Maybe I need to watch Kill Bill again, but on the other hand, I find Quentin Tarantino repulsive. He's so full of shit. Like, have you ever watched, um, there's this uh, fantastic video of Quentin Tarantino talking about how no one has ever talked about race the way he has. He's making Django Unchained, by the way. This is a, this is a video from, like, 2011, I want to say. And he's working on Django Unchained, of all things. And he's like, yeah, no one has ever worked on race the way... No one's ever started this conversation in Hollywood the way that I have. You know, race, race, this, this kind of discussion of race, this doesn't happen in Hollywood without me. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the most unbelievably full of shit I think I might have ever heard a director be. <laughs> Also, for some reason in that movie, like, in uh, Kill Bill, I should say, there's, like, an extremely long section wherein uh, Quentin Tarantino uses his characters as a mouthpiece to share his incorrect views about Superman. And, like, Quentin Tarantino does this sort of thing all the time, where he uses his characters to say shit that he just wants to say. Like, for example, the N-word. He loves that. But also, like... What what a, what a genius, right? <laughs> I'm gonna pay, yeah, I'm gonna pay Samuel L. Jackson to talk about how sexy a woman's foot is, and that's gonna be his most iconic rule ever. He's never gonna be able to distance himself from that. Oh yeah, I got the Tonto. A Tonto, by the way, is just a short katana. It's the dagger equivalent of a katana. And I think we're still heading yeah, this way. Wow. That's a fucking vis vista, you know? God damn, that's beautiful. Anyway, yeah, at the end of Kill Bill, there's like... A, a long soliloquy by one of the characters. I guess he's the villain, but none of the characters are likable, so, you know, it could be the hero if you if you view it that way. But he talks about how, like, Clark Kent is how Superman views humans, you know? Clark Kent is how Superman is racist to humans. And, like, that's wrong. It's, like... Clark is Clark first and Superman second. He's a he's a friendly guy from Texas. Like, he's not fucking Vegeta. He doesn't have this big, like, complex. To him, he's from Earth. You know, he was born and raised here. And, like, granted, he was born on Krypton. But he was there for, like, 20 minutes and then the whole planet blew up. Not exactly that much of a heritage if, you know the rock it was on is uh, not there anymore. I have opinions on Superman and how Superman should be. Just so you know. What's the missing? It's that way. So we'll grab that and then we'll head and keep going that way. Anyway, I hope Quentin Tarantino falls in a pit, you know, like one of those big traps. Anyway, I've been doing good. 
I played the uh, the new Monster Prom game, which is called Monster Camp. Oh, that's a hole underground. Fine. I'll come back for that later. Normally, I'm quite averse to coming back for things later. However, in this case, I think I'll make an exception. But yeah, the further you go in this game... Fuck. Fuck. The further you go in this game, the easier movement and getting around the island becomes. And in fact, there are some relics you can't get uh, until you unlock the ability to fly from anywhere. I found this one that's like on the top of a mountain. Pain in my ass. Wow, that's so fucking beautiful. Hello, boars. Yeah, I could actually just travel to Bad Town or whatever it's called. However, I'm I'm playing this game, you know, so I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna I'm gonna run through the areas. I'm gonna do shit unless I can't get there, or unless I get bored or forget. Basically, you're saddled with me as your tour guide on this horrible, horrible island. Whatever that means for you. What was... Goat! Hello, goat. Many goat. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Okay, I was that close to just splattering myself on uh, some wood. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can do that off camera. Now, the supply flares are a gameplay thing to guide the player. How are they being thrown into this cave? You know, when you're outside, it makes logical sense. But how the fuck did that one get in that cave, you know? Because, like, these and all the other ones, you could conceivably just see them being dropped from a helicopter. You know, they don't show said helicopter. What the? That's uh, that's bad, right? That's not a good. Come on, Jason, gun that thing. You can do it, Jay. It's gonna be tight, but I think I can make it. Hey man, here's your jet ski. Alright, now where to? Oh hell, let's just quick travel. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but everything's maxed out now. Owned all. Owned all. Owned all the arrow quivers. And I've got a whole bunch of those. As for where I'm at with this, you can take a look. I'm halfway through almost half, well, I'm not even close to halfway through the missions. I've done quite a few of the wanted deads. More than halfway on the memory cards. S one fifth of the way through the relics. More than halfway on this and this. Done six of those, which is why I have the Tonto now. Haven't done enough of these. I'm missing a few of these, but only ten of them, so I'm more than halfway done. And I'm plugging along pretty good on these. Alright. And as for these, 
So I learned that you cannot uh, unlock the signature weapons, barring a signature weapon that is unlocked because you get the... Uh... Oh boy. Barring a signature weapon unlocked because you did radio towers. The yeah, radio towers won't unlock the signature weapons. Those things also show up in Far Cry 4 because Far Cry 4 and 3 are very similar games. But yeah, I'm pretty much done on all the pelts. Which means that I have no reason to kill animals. Like, the reason that I killed all these animals is because they attacked me. Like, these dingoes, they ran up on me. You all saw that. And I'm getting bored already of this, so... And yeah, machete or Japanese Tonto. As for this, I own all of these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I own pretty much all the, uh, I own pretty much everything except the signature weapons. Uh, and the thing that I'm working on is I'm trying to buy all of the additional things for them. The tier ones you can't actually upgrade, which makes my job a lot easier. And these, I don't know if you can upgrade either. Uh, you want to have your trigger safety there, dear? And as for skills, you can see that I'm filling this out pretty well. So yeah, I'm not uh, super psyched about having 100% this game. But I'm still enjoying it, so. Besides, I'm recording this so far in advance. I'm pretty sure that I'm moving into January now. And I'm recording this so far in advance that uh, if I need to take a break, I can. Where's the... Oh, here it is. Jesus. I wanted to check where I am on missions again. 15. Okay. Luckily, some of these missions are just, like, small parts of larger missions. I'm here for my friend, Keith. Ah, sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. You bought him from Hoyt. Ah, him. He said his name was... You're hysterical. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a wacky, happy rapist. You must be Jason Brody. Look, I just want Keith. Chase. He's Chase. my finger Chase. puppet. God, we're not all savages here. Jeez, dude. Just also a racist. Capitalists. I've got something that, that you want, right? That's product. You've got something that I want. And what the hell is that? Temper, temper, Chase. Be careful. If you do me in, you'll never get him back. There's a bomb in his uterus. Find this for me. You score that, and you and I are even, Stephen. And Keith goes with you. Bring me what has been lost. I've, I've seen this knife before. A knife? A knife? It's not just a fucking knife. It's art. All history in this and you and Keith four arches squeezed together. That's my fucking fee, right? Where is it? It's Trajanta. He knew where it was. Vice, he got the wanker's boat. Research was doing on some Chinese treasure. And his crew. Do you know what else he got? A knife? No, oh, a fucking knife. It's location. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want Keith back? Get on the goddamn boat. Find out where the artifact's buried before someone else nicks it. I'm on your bike. Fuck off. Oh boy. So yeah, that's Buck, a character who is. Uh, also, the first boat we found was called the Medusa, and this one's called the Nostalgia. Huh. 
thinking emoji. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much done on getting all the weapon upgrades, so I can freely slot on or off any weapon upgrade that I want. I can equip almost any weapon I want. I think I'm missing a few. Uh, the signature weapons have their own specific paint job and upgrades, and so they are, you know, completely static. And they're good where they are, but, you know, that's where they are. See, this is, this is self-defense. All that was self-defense. It had to be. Dude, I just shot a tiger to death. Do you want to maybe give a bit more thought? See, there goes your friend. Like, I know that they're pirates and they're all hooked up on, like... A slurry of disgusting drugs and, and sex crimes. But, like, you'd think if you're on so much meth, your brain reverts to that of a caveman. You would still internalize that man has just killed a tiger by himself in, like, basically open combat. That thing was, like, a foot away from me. There's a letter around here, and I want it. Well, in fact, I'll need it. Since, you know, 100% and all. Oh, is this it? Ah. Ah, here we go. So yeah, Letters of the Lost are uh, a, a thing that I've probably talked about before. At this point, my character is like, I feel very strong in my character, so I don't really care what I actually put into it. See, so yeah, Letters of the Lost, there's only 20 of them, and I found seven so far. They're another collectible, uh, wherein... What is that? Ahead of me. Oh. It's a thing I haven't liberated. Well, why don't we just... Oh, I've only got 56 green leaves. Well, I want to slow down on that, Jay. But yeah, some of them are letters from the Japanese soldiers who, uh, you know, were here during World War II. Uh, some of them are not that. Some of them are other things. So they're all clustered in there. Let's see if I can't just like chain, 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 chain them all. Actually, those guys are heavies, which might prove to be problematic. Wow, what happened? I just caught on fire and died. And of course, the checkpoint is before I actually made all those syringes. Also, yeah, in case you needed a little more motivation for uh, killing pirates... Uh, that whole, that whole, like, dialogue there was just about how he loves hating women or something. And another one. So I think one of the things about heavies is that they won't call for backup. All right, never mind. There goes one. So that way? That isn't good. Oh, 
Get a few of those in there. Jesus. This probably isn't going to seem very relevant, uh, and I trust trust me, it isn't. But uh, I recently learned that uh, the Teletubbies, right? Uh, those suits are like 10 feet tall. Oh man, come on. Okay, the heavies are a problem. Let's see about that, huh? Anyway, so yeah, the Teletubbies are partially, like, animatronic, I think. And so the suits are, like, ten feet tall. They're massive. So the rabbits that, um... Uh, exist in, in Tubland or whatever... Where the fuck the name that land was? Teletubbyden? Those rabbits had to be, like, those... Those, uh, the, the big rabbits. What are they called? The Rob Isabel rabbits in Lord of the Rings, but that isn't what their actual special name is. They're like Lancastershire la la rabbits or something. Seriously, why do I just catch on fire? Is it because I stab a man with a uh, with a machete on his back? All right, I think I'm getting the idea, though. The mine should be enough to take out a heavy in one, considering that I have seen it happen. So if I put the uh, mine down somewhere. And of course, I don't have the heavy takedown yet because the game would be too easy then. Oh, wow. That was completely silent. There's one. See, I really need him to run over the mine that I put down. And see, here's where I wish that I would have tagged that guy. Because I only tagged this Keep dude. Playing, you bitch. I okay. Now it's just him. Oh, don't balls it up here, dude. Will that explode? I was hoping that it would, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Now, here's where I wish I knew where that mine was. Because if I could get him to run over it, we wouldn't have a problem now, would we? Did I put it down? I sure did. Here it is. Oh, yeah, you see me, huh? Well, why don't you come on over this way, dude?
Yep, see? Coming on over. Right over here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. No alarm triggered because I turned it off. Hey, let's do that. Uh, let's actually grab some fucking stuff. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty clean, if I will say so myself. Got a little hairy with that one guy, but other than that, it was a pretty smoking deal. Might be able to hear the crackhead in my living room yelling at video games. See, I want to get these tiger skins and dingo pelts out of my inventory. I just have so many of them. And the scroll wheel doesn't work in this menu for some reason. You have to, like, individually grab the little thing and scroll to it. So the other thing I'm working on is buying all the paint jobs. Because, like, like I said, I'm just going to run out of things to buy at some point. And I feel like I'm going to need to work on that, you know? Come on, do this. Oh, man. Well, why don't we top off? Ain't no reason not to. And because I've forgotten to buy body armor, this means that I'm going to have to sell dingo pelts in the hopes that eventually I'll have enough shit. Ooh, boar hide. That'll give me an extra ten bucks. Am I going to be one short? I'm going to be one short of buying body armor. Alright, well... Let me see if I can just find some shit in a box somewhere. See, look, here's a box. Got the bullets. Nothing to be afraid of. See, ten bucks, perfect. That's exactly what I need. That guy's a champion. But while we're here. Okay, then we'll go grab body armor. Because as I mentioned, I'm starting to go a little louder with my uh With my playstyle. Because, um, like, the bow and arrow is fine, but, like, in terms of stealth, I have the machete, well you know? Can you help out with the items on the bulletin board? Bulletin board? Might. Stoof. See, we're getting distracted again. But look. That thing was literally on the way, and this is going to be like in and out two minutes. Trust me. I'm kind of not feeling this thing. I'm going to swap it out, I think. Whoa, whoa. They were all right there, huh? I guess it did say hiding in a tunnel, but man, it was really dark. That's on me, though. That's on me. You know, that's my fuck-up. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can chain from one of the next. Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. You're a crazy, crazy crackhead. Oh, hey, I was over here. 
Yeah, I totally missed this guy. You know, that's that's pretty funny. I think so, at least. Very nice. And because I wasn't shot at, I didn't actually take any gun, uh, uh, any armor damage. Which means that I can just keep on going. I'm actually going to leave this slot open. Since I'm heading to a mission, it's very likely that I'll find a, uh... Fuck, man. It's very likely I'll find another syringe of some kind. Meaning that I don't really need to make. Uh, more syringes. That's the theory, at least. What is happening? Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine. Look. Just gotta level it out. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. See, this is why you shouldn't follow your GPS exactly. Now, uh, do I have to be worried about uh, sharks around here? Because here's the drop-off. And, like, if there were to be sharks, they'd be out here, right? Because crocodiles are, like, a river animal. So are piranhas. Piranhas are, uh, river fish. But, like, the open ocean, that's where you gotta... That's where you gotta look out for sharks, yeah? Alright. OSP infiltration shit. I'm good at that. This isn't OSP, I'm just quoting Metal Gear Solid. Now, I'm probably supposed to bring a boat over here to allow me to get around this quicker, but this is a lot stealthier. That guy just beaming around with a... with a sniper rifle. That guy is a dude who's trying to look like he's earning his paycheck. Now, is this going to be a thing where I kill a guy and lose the mission? Holy fucking shit. What? What happened? Oh, huh. Well, that isn't good. That's a shotgun man as well. No, I'm not here. That is bougie as fuck, I gotta say. I didn't think that there would be this many guys. Did I come in on the wrong side? Because there were way more guys on the other side. Like, my side had like three guys. Four tops. The other side of the boat? Guys for days. They're so overconfident, man. 
That's all you've got, they say, as they're being riddled by bullet. The bullet asks you a riddle. See, I would have thought that that would have been the normal guy. It wasn't. Hmm. So because my melee skills have been upgraded so, so much, um, three bucks, that's all that guy, they, they've, they give that guy his money, three dollars, and a single machete. That guy got four, you know? And like, that seems like not very much, but when you compare it to the other guy, that's like a, that's, that's like a 33% increase, you know? Like, who's really being scammed here? The guy who's willing to work for $3? Or the dude who thinks he's being sly by upcharging himself to 4 you know? The Tonto is so cool, got to say. See, did someone fuck up this paint job? Or... Gotta get the computer. Fuck. How many pirates are on this boat? There's so many pirates here. Why are there so many pirates, you guys? Like, there were three inside compared to the, like, 10 or 11 outside. So this is a real thing. You can go to the Jason Brody wiki. You can go to the Far Cry wiki, I mean. The official Far Cry Wikipedia, right? Go to Jason Brody's Wikipedia page. And it mentions that countless pirates were murdered by him. Like, in, in, in reference to what he's killed, it, it mentions all the cannon kills. See? There's a, there's a there's a little syringe there. I knew it. It mentions all the cannon kills in this game that, like, you have to do because they're in a cutscene. So they have to happen. It's like, potentially, these people, or this guy, depending on the ending of the game. Yada yada yada, yada yada, you know. And in the, me in, in the mention of, like, cannon kills, it says countless pirates. Like, Jason has killed people ranging into the hundreds by now. Maybe more. Have I have I hit the thousands? Is there a way to see that? Like... In my handbook... User manual. Oh, man. Like, can you imagine how implausible it is that this dude who's never picked up a gun before today... I love, I love how this is what hacking is, although he's just using this, this fucking computer. Why, why is there a loading... Why, why is it loading? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hacking alert! <laughs> That's not how anything works. That's the silliest thing ever. 
did he did he say he had to put it on a flash drive? I thought he was just looking at it and saying, "Oh, cool." Anyway, that's rather silly, I think. So the thing about being in a sinking ship like this. Oh, that's actually kind of rad. Wouldn't it be full of water, too? Like, do you have to drink the water out first? Close it so that the water doesn't get... Doesn't get at me. I guess that actually does make sense. It would keep the water pressure up. Which would allow you to... Like, it, it would basically hold the air in the boat, which would make it be a little more buoyant. You know, I'm pretty sure that that's impossible. I don't think you can open a door that's, like, flooded like that. Are, are you serious, dude? You're like, yeah, now I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna kill this guy who's killed a thousand pirates while I'm being in a flooded ship. Like, you know one of my, like, I guess spirit animal is actually the term. I guess one of my spirit animals is, like, literally the shark. Dude, you have guns. You have a knife. Don't hit your elbow on that. You're just gonna hurt yourself. Anyway, yeah, you're meant to avoid using the term spirit animal because it can be kind of, um... Fuck, what's the term? You're kind of co-opting shit from indigenous people, but considering uh, what the themes of this game are and the fact that the Rakyat's view of, like, part of the culture is, are you a cool warrior who has the tattoo? Cool, you're in. Guys. Come on. No, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, mate. Get the fuck up! Come on! Here you go. You found my prize yet? It wasn't on the boat. Oh, Jason. Keith is going to be very disappointed. He looked uncomfortable last I saw him. Why are you telling me this? Entertainment, my dear. Entertainment. <laughs> Did you happen to find a compass? Excellent. Very good. Now, research says follow the compass. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Now. You can handle being on your own, some. Keith needs me. Right? Toodles. I love how obviously magical that stupid thing is. Like, man, if you want to talk about MacGuffins, that's a that's a MacGuffin right there. Wait, why are we talking to Buck? We just We just talked to him and he told us to go fuck off. Also, how is he already there? We saw him leave the same beach on foot. That's a useful ability. So yeah, his name is Bambi. He grew up in British prison, AKA Australia. New recipe, Endorphin Boost. Uh, you gain four slots. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty rad. That might be good to keep on me. The thing is, is that it's... the Just the normal default heal, it's so solid that, like, I, I feel like I don't need anything else besides that. Hey, guys. Oh yeah, um, also Jason's Wikipedia page, uh, or the Far Cry Wiki page, I should say. It does mention that he can potentially kill Rakyat warriors and others, uh, like people who just live here. Um, not that it's necessarily canon or non-canon, just that it is possible for him to do it. And so because it, it could be something that he does, it is listed here. This game has two endings, and I imagine that... Like, glove? supposed to go 
Jason. Don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm not playing the bloody game you are. I'm just a spectator here. I expect a good show, eh? Get out of the way. Well, no, not before we give you a history lesson. Hmm? You ready for this? Listen to this now. Imagine, consider, if you will, this monumental testament to irony. The bloody Japs. Like they form a special unit of, uh, you know, to try and find, like, lost treasure and riches to feed their empire. But the wankers don't realize that this, they're building a the bloody thing right over the fucking stuff they're looking for. Well, come on, ask me, what are they looking for? Fuck. No. I should cane you for that. I really should. But you know what I won't? I'll cane Keith instead. They're after the Chow fucking Yang. This flagship that used to belong to uh, this famous Chinese general called uh, Zing He. A bloody thing. He just fucking disappeared. With tons of riches on it, including, yeah, my fucking knife. That's it. Look after yourself, eh? The history lesson's over. What an odd character. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Like, I think it's kind of weird that they give Buck the treatment that they do. Because they give him the, the, the treatment that a character, like, almost like a Deadpool would. But, like, Keith is an unabashed rapist and racist. Like, I don't even know if Jap is even remotely PC to say. He refers to everyone on the island that isn't him or Jason as savages. Why are the rats red? They're friends. They really wrecked this place. But, like, he's given this treatment like he's supposed to be this awesome, cool guy, though, same way that... The same way that, like, Voss is. And, like, is Voss supposed to be a hero? I don't know, but the game sure likes him. Who put these American dollars in here, by the way? This is a Japanese uh, World War II base that's been abandoned, uh, apparently, since the end of World War II. For me, the uh, episode about, uh, the roguelike episode about heavy bullets just came out, so... Thinking back of my uh, of my ass getting kicked by snakes. Oh shit! Boss's men are here. So did they leave it here? So is that just the sound that a ledge takedown makes, or am I near a relic? Ladies and gentlemen, your hyperlethal vector is back in the saddle. Oh, won't well, let me jump over there. That's kind of annoying. I wonder what George Lopez is up to right now. No particular reason why. I watched Sharkboy and Lava Girl with my friends last week. I probably mentioned that in an earlier episode of this uh, very series. All right. Now this also really reminds me of a level in Uncharted. <gasps> yeah, Buck is like a super weirdo. Like he's a villain who does like basically every evil thing. Uh, 
And, like, he's introduced to you because he bought a man to have sex with. And, like, he bought it from one of the other villains, and yet, like, I don't know. Like, maybe just because Jason is just so forced to play ball with him. Oh, nice. Oh, that's everyone. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not super sure about, um, Hoyt. Not Hoyt. Um, Buck. Also, man, it's weird about how Jason is like, his name's Buck. These two died in each other's loving embrace, by the way. Just want to point that out. We got monkeys. Okay, if this dude's in here, I'm going to flip my shit. Ah, uh, pardon me. way down, right? What the fuck? Not again. I hate crocodiles. Jesus. This is turning into like a... <laughs> I don't know. I guess like a boss rush? Channel Indie. I like how it has teeth on it, of all things. Is there, is there a croc in here? Right, I see no crocs in the entryway. The nice thing about the croc is that the death roll they put you in gives you a good shot at the throat. That's a real thing that crocs do. They do this thing, this maneuver called a death roll. Wherein uh, they s basically spin the target around. The victim, I guess. They 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 spin the victim around in their jaws. Said I need to reach that ledge. Two switches. That pole looks rot. Interesting. This is a very uncharted puzzle right here. Alternatively, Tomb Raider. Because, like, man, ain't we raiding some tombs? Jason, you put this water in here. This is on you. Big rock. Man, you really can't trust 10,000 year old Chinese engineering the way you used to be able to. Now, naturally, that was the only way to get up there. Is this what I'm looking for? Shit. Right on cue, those rocks are. Oh, you can still see the big dumb glow of that big old box. And of course they waited until... Oh, excuse me, hiccups. Okay, nice and slow. Am I supposed to mash or hold it? I guess hold it, right? You know, in a lot of cases, these little squeeze-through areas are just here to help you load. 
And considering that we go from... Well, why do they even put the loading screen there? How do you keep finding me? <laughs> I know. Well, you're leaving a trail of human breadcrumbs, mate. Ellen fucking Keller could keep up with you. Not that I mind the body count. You coming up? Come on, give us a hand. I don't have your knife, all right? No, 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 no. Jason, that's not all right. It's just a little fucking knife that asked you to get me, but you're too bloody incompetent, too fucking lazy to get it for me. Too busy playing games, aren't you? Well, fine. I just gotta play a game of pin the tail of the donkey with keys. The only thing I found was this ring. I bet it fits on the compass. Well, I don't know. Go on, stick it in then. I love how that's. So magical shit. I mean, oh, yeah, there you go. I'll see you around, Jace. Buck, you are so nonchalant about you literal know magic. To go, don't you? Oh, mate. Let's know where you're headed. Like, dude, you're really not giving actual magic the credit here. Down in the underground. All right. That's the only way to open those, by the way, in case you're curious. How are there $26 in there? Like, is it because I'm finding something of equivalent value of $26? Because they never say that. Wow, hold on. That's the whole island. Yeah, none of this is red. It's all it's all been unlocked. That's kind of rad. Feel proud of myself. Grab one of these, eh? Where was I? I think it was in SMGs, wasn't I? Yeah. Okay. All right. I know I'm coming up on an episode here, but man, I'm really close. Can I get this knife? Is that too much to ask? That would be a little implausible and also completely unrealistic, but I think it'd be cool if the knife you find here was the knife that Takara uses in Far Cry Primal. Like, I know that that's probably not how it works, especially considering that this is... Uh, Pacific Island. Yeah, South Pacific Island, isn't it? Um, and uh, that takes place somewhere between India and Europe. Being, you know, before countries existed, it's a little difficult to pin down exactly where, but considering they speak Proto-Indo-European, it's probably somewhere around the uh, region of Europe or the subcontinent of Asia. India, rather. Asia is a continent. India is a subcontinent. You know, I'm something of a historian myself. Oh, come on. We gotta. It's right there. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah, Buck is never really depicted as being, like, short-sighted or stupid or anything. He's always on top of everything. At least at this stage. That's kind of a tight corner to make. Okay, Ten seconds for the first one. I really love how you can hear this thing fucking shifting and squeaking and stuff. Excuse me, goats! Oh man, really? This sucks.
I wonder if there's a full list of the words in these loading screens. Okay, that turn up there is really annoying. Alright, I made it with one second less. Fuck. Oh man, this sucks, dude. This one's even worse. God damn it. Look, I know it. I, I, the mission says failed after it asks you if you want to retry. You're already aware of your failure. I don't know why it just doesn't let you go. You know? I'm trapped here. You, you're trapping me. Squeeze every second out. Milk it. Yeah, again, I use this to reiterate how I uh, don't really have too much intention to show all these on screen because they're all they're all they're all like this. Come on, what is what am I doing wrong there? Is there a turbo I'm not hitting? And I just know, I just know that if I cut the episode so I can do this shit off screen. Dude. Is that a fucking joke? I just know, if I cut the episode to do this off screen, I'll do it on my first try. Okay. All right, come on, Jason. What is happening there? Why isn't it going? It's just, I'm literally not, I'm, I'm cutting the episode. No, I'm not. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more attempt that makes it there, at least. It's been Far Cry 3. I'll see you guys next time. God damn it. I've been Alfred. Far Cry 3.